Hi everyone, my name is Eddie Zorazian. I'm an event and floral designer. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to use pineapples in an arrangement. Let's go back into my workshop area and I'm gonna show you how this is done. So let's start this. First, I'm gonna pick out my container. As you can see, it looks like an artichoke or a pineapple texture to it. Then I'm gonna take my pre-wet foam, cut it up. like so. Again, carve the sides as I always do. We've got this already. I'm gonna take a hyacinth stick, yank it in like this. So that's done. I'll put this aside for now. Start with my pineapple. I'll cut this almost one fourth, like so. I'm going to go back and I'm going to carve it out. So I'm finishing carving this out. And once I carve this completely out the way I want it, I'm going to go back and I'm going to get three quarters of a floral foam again. I'm shaving this off a little bit so I get it the way I want. And then I'm going to go back and take the head part of it I'm gonna take wooden sticks, like so, and yank it in here. And my final step with this, before I put the pineapple is, I'm gonna go back inside right here. Take my container, put it at an angle, and I'm gonna take my second pineapple. It's a little heavy, so I'm gonna probably use a couple wood skewers, all in one direction, so it's easy to Insert, like so. And now I'm gonna start with my flowers and my greens. I usually like to start from the bottom up, and I'm gonna use Monsteria leaves as well because it has a different texture and variation. And here's the Monsteria leaves. I still want the pineapple to show, so you don't wanna do too much covering. I'm gonna take my green dianthus, and green dianthus is actually in the family of a carnation. A lot of people don't know this, but. So I'm gonna group this up, like so, in different areas. Not only am I covering the foam, but I'm also trying to give it some interesting textures in the arrangement. So it looks like a bed of moss, really. And finally, I'm gonna take my cymbidiums, but the good thing about cymbidium stems is they're long and they have multiple blooms. I'm gonna cut them up like so, so have some stem. So from one stem, I'm gonna be able to get like maybe four, five, or six flower stems out of it. And then I can start using that inside their arrangement like so. And what I like about this is it has that golden yellow color that matches the pineapple itself. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put some on top as well. And take this like so, so we can cover the foam. Here you have it. So you have this beautiful pineapple cymbidium green dianthus tropical arrangement. For more information on my video tutorials, go to my YouTube page, Eddie Zaratian. See you next time.